Well, hello there, folks, and welcome to another Malt with Mike and Friends whiskey review. Now, as you can tell, we're not in the Maltland's lair, as he's currently doing dry march at the moment, and he's let some of us other people do a bit of vlogging. Now, he's doing dry march, as I said. Whether he can manage dry march, remember, he works here, House of Malt. All that temptation but being a good man as he is I reckon he can manage so as he's doing dry march he's let us do what we want and I thought to myself we'll do something that we haven't done before or have we hey club one of the worst whiskies out there. I'm surprised I've even got this in my house. But it was bought by the Maltman. I don't care. Anyway, we'll put that one over there because we don't need that. And I'll just click this because I need to see what time it is in case my wife decides to drop home. She's currently on call at the moment, so. Anyway. I have it in this glass. It's not a Glen Murray whiskey, despite what the glass is. March. What is March famous for? The world over. Mm, no, not that. St. Patrick's Day. It's not that we'd do an Irish whiskey. This is the Quiet Man. It's an eight year old whiskey. It's, I'm taking it's got color, a little bit of colouring in. It's chill filtered and it sits at 40%. Now it's distilled in Derry, Northern Ireland. And it's the first of this type of whiskey that I've had. I've had plenty of the blended whiskies, the Bushmills, the Jamesons, you know. But I thought, we'll try this. Retails round about the 39 to 40 pound mark. I picked this up in John Lewis of all places in Eldon Square, Newcastle. Uh, and it's been sitting upstairs and I thought, you want me to do March? I'll do one in March. So we've picked this. Now, gone in colour. It's a very light colour. Light, lighter even than golden syrup. It's got it's almost like a, a light gold. Really nice colour actually. And a little bit of swell around the glass. No legs there. So I'm taking, yeah, chill filtered. Ooh, no, on the nose. We're getting a nice floral, if anything. Getting honey. I'm getting vanilla. <coughs> Excuse me. I do have a little bit of a sore throat at the moment, so I am partaking a little bit of new make as well. Yeah, definitely vanilla. Definitely oak. A little bit of honey, as I said. No. Can anybody remember those foam bananas from the 80s? The little sweets that you used to get. Dead chewy. Very ever so slightly in there. It's not bad in the nose actually. And I'm taking, as it's an Irish whiskey, triple distilled. Hopefully I'm right. Hopefully I'm not wrong. On with the palate. But heck, that dries your mouth out ever so slightly. 
definitely get the oak there on the palate. Definitely. Say bourbon barrels. So I mean Oh yeah, nice. Very warming. Definitely not harsh when it hits the throat, when it hits the, you know, all the way down. It's quite pleasant. Slight spice, bit of cinnamon, bit of cardamom, bit of green freshness in there as well. God, I'd be no good at this 60 second lark like Brian Dunn would have. Good old Malt Musings. Hopefully he's up next. Yeah. Taz. Got that green freshness to it. Again. It doesn't hang around for long. Within 20, 30 seconds, you've kind of lost it. I expect if this was up somewhere in mid 43, 46% region, it'd be a bit better. Three drops of water there. Yeah, still got that furry feeling on my teeth. It's quite nice, actually. Yeah, not bad. Quite happily put that in the cabinet. Well, kitchen cupboard. So there we go. Quiet man. Eight year old. Irish whiskey. Derry. Northern Ireland. Quite pleasant. If you haven't tried it, go try it. I assure you, you'll enjoy it. So, until next time, folks, God bless, take care, and if you do like our vlogs, hit the subscribe button at the bottom. And if you want to add any comments to this, please feel free to do so. Until next time, goodbye. Please click subscribe, it really helps us when you do that. And click the bell so you never miss a new Triple M and Friends video.